Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Um, following on from the last vlog, which was the hot water crust pastry, aka John Kirkwood style, um, what, um, recipe taken from him, fantastic uh, channel. There will be a link in the description to, to his channel because I kind of am using his quiche recipe today with a slight adaptions beautiful thing about quiche is you can do that so I'm using that uh, hot water crust pastry that I made on the last vlog in this in this recipe I do need to blind bake it um, which is what he, uh, John Kirkwood did um, and also I have all the ingredients over there for the for the uh, what you call it the quiche <laughs> so um, uh, there's one thing I need to mention. Um, Patreons, there's a there is a vlog for you for you for Plot Twenty Five and and for Budget Cooking. Go check it out. Uh, behind the scenes, etc. etc. So come and have a look at the ingredients. So here we have um, the filling of the quiche, uh, spinach. The ingredients list will come up here. Uh, bacon, feta cheese, and a little bit of cheddar cheese. Cream and um, five eggs in there. Just have a quick. That I haven't yet whisked. This is the pastry I made. Um, it was actually earlier today, but the vlog, um, obviously, for on YouTube, it was a couple of days ago. I will put a link in the description to the recipe for this. Uh, but that's the hot water crust pastry, some seasoning, and I'm actually going to use this for the first time. Uh, Trish Diamond, you gave me this. Thank you so much for that. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to use this. John Cook would actually use exactly the same one, which is brilliant. Um, and I will be um, using these. I have already um, oiled or buttered these with a little bit of lard um, as John Kirkwood did. I don't have exact same size um, pie dishes as he does, so I'm not totally sure. I mean, I'm hoping there's enough of this. I will be blind baking them with these and with some rice that I've, I've used before for blind baking and I, I kind of keep this uh, handy in the cupboard. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to kind of roll out, get this um, pastry um, flat, <laughs> roll it out and get it in the pastry dishes, blind bake them, and then we're going to go move on to do the filling. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. So before um, I roll it out, I, I need to kind of fold it over and kind of ha ha manhandle it, as it were, to get it. To get it to sort of become more malleable because it's it's very cold this is what John says to do to make it hopefully uh, <laughs> before I roll out because otherwise it's going to crack Hopefully that's enough. Um, I'm, this is the first time I've actually made my own hot water crust pastry, so it's quite it feels quite new, and it's certainly John Kirkwood enough. Does really makes it look easy. So I'm just going to scatter some um, flour onto the surface. Um, also. John Cook would use the green one, the three millimeter. So that's what we're going to do on this one. Fantastic roller, absolutely love that. It really makes it easy having these depth uh, guides. Right, so I'm going to cut out four 
uh, thingamajigs. I'm going to have a lot left over, which I will freeze. Um, and just make sure, yeah. We'll free, I'll freeze any leftovers for future recipes because I will definitely make this again. I'm going to cut these out um, and I'll be back to blind bake. See you in a bit. Okay, so as I said before, I've already um, lot of, what's the word? L buttered the, the 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 dishes. John Kirkwood said to make sure you get rid of any air pockets on the bottom edge of the because I can feel them actually when I do this. So I just kind of squeeze out squeeze out the air pockets you could use a little knob of um of a uh, pastry as well if you had uh, long fingernails which is another john kirkwood advice very good advice too Okay, so I've got to prick um, the base. This stops it from bubbling up, apparently. So with my pre-prepared pastry sheets, and in fact, I will save these. Um, just fill and press down. So bake. Um, I'm going to just say it's uh, 15 minutes. When John did it in the oven, he was 25 minutes, but I'm not 100% sure. I could add minutes if I feel I need to. So let's get that on. It's going to preheat, and then I'm going to be bunk popping it in when it says add food. See you in a minute. Okay, it's asking me to add the food, so let's quickly do that. I don't like the heat escaping. Um, it feels inevitably it will. So let's hope that that cooks nicely. Um, I am, like I said before, but I'll be prepared to add minutes if I need to. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's ended. Let's have a look. Hopefully, oops. Right. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, oh that's all right. I'm not, I'm not unhappy about that. I think that looks not unlike John John Kirkwood's one when he did blind baked his and I'm actually going to save these oops save these bits of parchment paper in the, the rice once it's completely cool I will be I will come back and we'll start ma making our quiches see you in a bit Okay, so they're completely cold, which is fab. I'm just going to add uh, my double cream to my egg mixture, which I've already added the um, seasoning, salt and pepper to taste. Right, so I'm, I'm now going to start building my quiche. So I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of cheese at the bottom. In fact, probably what I'll do is I'll do, um, I'll do one, exactly how I would do them all. Um, and then the others I'll just finish off camera. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this. A little bit of bacon. Right, that's that. I'm going to do exactly the same to the other three. Thank you. 
Okay, so uh, they look fantastic. I'm quite pleased with these. Um, hopefully they'll cook all right in the air fryers. These two I'll do in the Kasori uh, 12 litre oven. These two I'm gonna do in the Ninja just to see how they turn out. I did actually have quite a lot of mixture left. Um, so I might adjust my notes and also the feta cheese just so that we know how much fits these particular four tins. Because I, I, I ended up doing just four. I didn't, because yeah, I just ended up doing four. I could have done five to be fair, but never mind. Um, yeah, so I'm preheating the, the Ninja and then I'm going to be, in fact, let's get this on. So bake. Uh, I don't know how long for to have, I really don't know. I'm going to say 15 minutes, be prepared to, I'll be prepared to add more maybe another five minutes on top of that and let it preheat uh yeah i think that would be about right so i'll see you in a bit when i'm adding these to the in, putting these into the air fryers okay it's saying add food so let's add the quiches let that cook let's get these in Oh, not sure two fit actually. Oh no. Oh, one will do. Let's get that one in. Fifteen minutes. Not sure if that's the right time. And in fact, am I got it on bake? Yes, I have. I'm not sure if it will blow stuff about. Maybe not. No. Right. Let's get this one into the Kasori oven. I just forgot these these uh, dishes don't fit two in the Ninja. They only fit one. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> when these are cooked, I will see you then and let's hope they, these turn out well. See you in a bit. So I've just checked the um, Ninja one. I'm glad I did actually, because it's looking very well. Well, it looks looking great, but Three more minutes may have resulted in, oops. Yeah, that, that's looking lovely. I'm leave that to cool for a little bit. The Kasori one's still doing. And they're looking great too, actually. Whoa, this is great. It has puffed up quite a lot. That's really interesting. Okay, I will see you in a bit when the Kasori oven ones, I don't think, is this technically not an air fryer, is it? Although it does say air fry, I don't know. Anyway, yes, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. I reckon that can go on a full 15 minutes. So that's really good in terms of timings. I would say for the Ninja, uh, 12 minutes after a preheated um, session. Session, Yeah, okay, we'll see you in a bit. I'm just quickly checking the internal temperature of the Ninja quiche. Uh, so yeah, 84 degrees. Fantastic, and it's still going up. So that's definitely cooked. I will check the um, Kasori ones, which we've actually just ended. Let's have a look at those. And they were on for 175 centigrade, uh, whatever that is in um, Fahrenheit. I will, I will, uh, I will have put on the screen in a text form. Yeah, well over 80. So that's great. Um, well, they look great. I'm really pleased, actually, really pleased. I will come back for a taste test, and um, but I'm going to let these cool down completely. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's actually the next day, um, um, and we had the <laughs> we ate the others for our dinner, which was with chips and beans, and it was absolutely delicious. But this is the one left over that I for the taste test. But look, I mean, it's absolutely. Fabulous. I'm so pleased. I can't tell you. I will absolutely make these again. And I've worked out 73p each for, and it'd probably be a little bit less because I had pastry left over, which includes the cost of the pastry that on the previous vlog, um, the whole cost breakdowns at the very end. Yeah, I mean, Looks absolutely fantastic. Listen, we're going to cut it in half um, and see what's going on in, right in the middle cross section, as it were. I mean, maybe this is not good. Uh, I didn't notice this last night because we just kind of ate 
but that maybe it could do with a little bit longer cooking the pastry inside but apart from that um I'm, I'm very happy i will look at that next time i do make this i definitely will make this again the the paste the filling looks fantastic really happy with the filling so let's cut a little slice Mm. Oh, the feta cheese. I love that sharp, sharp tang. And the spinach. I absolutely adore spinach. Probably one of my favourite vegetables. Mm. And the pastry. You'd, I mean, I don't notice that little bit in the middle. Something to be perfected, but the the <clears throat> the crust there that you can see there. Mm. Oh my! That's really lovely. Seventy three p for that, just that little pie, little quiche pie. Oh, fantastic! Well, thanks to everyone for watching. Um, I really enjoyed that. I will definitely make these again. Um, pastry. Interesting. I, it, I think it just required a few more minutes, which is all right, because I think I cooked them for 15, but when John Kirkwood cooked it, it in his oven, it was 25 minutes. So... <clears throat> It's hard to tell until you actually get them out once they're cooked, you know. So I will probably add, maybe maybe try 20 minutes next time, checking at 17, you know. It's difficult because obviously it's got that blind bake. You can't actually see until you've taken the whole lot out. Um, so 15 to 20 minutes blind baking. But mwah, really delicious. And I'm going to go away now and carry on eating it because it's really lovely. Thanks so much again. Take care. See you on the next one. Bye.